If you're wondering whether or not you should update to the latest driver 531.41, this video is definitely for you. So what I normally do is when a new driver releases, first and foremost, I make a pretty split, a split screen comparison um, where I use GeForce Experience to record the old driver versus the new driver. And then the following day, what I do is I don't use any recording software. I just do straightforward benchmarking for a more accurate assessment whether or not this driver or the new driver is actually better than the old driver. So at that, let me get to my results. Because this video isn't pretty, but this will tell you exactly how this driver performs. So, all my games were tested at medium settings. Where FSR 2.0 or 2.1 was available, I used the quality setting. With the exception of Returnal, my laptop is under spec for Returnal, so I put all the settings on low and then I used balanced FSR. But everything else is medium FSR 2.0. So for the previous driver, which wasn't a great driver to start off with, 531.29, what I did is I added up all my average FPS's over 10 games, and then over 10 games it gave me a total average FPS of 711.16. Because I benchmarked over 10 games, I divided by 10, and then my average, average FPS per game is 71.12. Same thing with the 1% lows, I added up all the 1% lows, got to a total of 466.58 FPS over 10 games, divided that by 10, and my average 1% low per game is 46.66. And then to, to work out my stability, what I do is I divide the 1% lows by the average FPS, and then my stability percentage is 65.61% which guys the late four or last nvidia drivers are shockingly bad this normally should be 75 percent 73 percent and since 528.49 it's been sitting around about 65 percent so this is not a great stability reading over here but don't worry there's still 431.41 to make this number look good. So same with the previous one, added up all the average FPS's, got to a total FPS over 10 games of 709.29, divided that by, by 10, and then my average FPS per game over the 10 games was 70.93. So as you can see, the average FPS is not the problem. The problem lies when you add up, or once you calculate the 1% lows. So add up all the 1% lows over the 10 games and it gave me a total of 456.06 FPS 1% low. Divide that by 10 and my average 1% low per game is 45.01. And when I divide the average 1% lows by the average FPS, it gives me a stability reading of 63.46%, which is shocking. So I wasn't happy about the last driver, but the last driver is even better than the current driver. Um, and just to give you a little bit of context, okay, I did benchmark different games and less games, but this is a comparison between driver 528 and the previous driver 531.18. So as you can see, 531.18, not great. Over nine games, it gives you stability of 65%. 528, even though it's an older driver and it should technically not be optimized for newer games, um, it still performs a shitload better. You can see uh, when I divide the 1% lows, which is a lot higher than the 1% lows here, yeah, by the average FPS, it gives me stability of 77.14%. And guys, this is why I recommend you don't actually upgrade from 528.02. All the late, uh, also a good driver is 528.24, but 528.02 is still my preferred driver because it's very stable. 1% lows uh, in ratio with the average FPS is the closest that it's, I've seen in a very long time. 
Going back to the latest driver, see uh, 63.46%, 65.61% for the previous driver. Guys, if you want my advice, don't upgrade to the latest driver. Yes, they say it's optimized for um, Resident Evil 4 Remake. Yes, they say it's optimized for, um, for The Last of Us Part 1 coming out next week. But I can tell you now, 528.02 is still going to get better FPS. Still going to get better 1% lows. These latest drivers are trash. Anyways, that's enough about my rant. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to smash the like button. If you made it this far in the video, you haven't subscribed yet, now is the time to do so. Other than that, guys, it's Friday. Have a good day. Enjoy Resin 4. And speak like you to make a difference. Cheers.